Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God discussion video. Now, the last discussion video that I made was the Does Realm Need Music video, but this video here is going to be more towards the ramble type of thing, like my How to Max a Character video. That was a ramble, and a lot of people liked it. And since today's topic is a little more general, broad, I guess you could say, I figured a ramble style video would be perfect for it. Because today I want to talk to you guys about how to deal with death in Realm of the Mad God. This is a video idea that I've had hanging over my head for a long time now. Now before we get started, I do want to point out the fact that this is a video on how to deal with death, like the mental coping of dealing with death, not how do you rebuild your character after dying, how do you deal with death in terms of its consequences. That's not what this video is about. I feel like my How to Max a Character video covered the whole idea of how to make a character, which kind of goes into the whole rebuilding concept as well. So this video is strictly for how to mentally deal with death. How do you get over it? How do you fight through it? What can you do? What tips can I give you? That's what I'm here to talk about today. So the first and pretty much main idea that I really need to get across is that you have to remember that Realm is just a game. I know it sounds simple and like, duh, right? But you would be surprised how many people lose sight of that idea, myself included. Trust me when I say, I know the feeling. You've been working hard for days, weeks, maybe even months to build up your character to max it even just one, two, eight. You finally get those stats going, you finally get your equipment upgraded, and then you die because of some stupid mistake. Or maybe it wasn't even your fault, maybe the game lagged and you were mashing the Nexus key and it just wasn't responding. All of that hard work that you put into that character, all of that time that you invested in the game, was all for nothing. Or at least it feels that way. It's a devastating feeling to know that all of those hours of gameplay amounted to what? A dead character. Nobody likes to lose something of theirs. That's just how it is. But you need to realize that sometimes that's just how things are. Getting angry and getting upset isn't going to bring him back. Trust me, I know how hard it is to deal with that. My first max character was a 2-8 wizard. I maxed out his defense from just farming godlands. I never even traded anything for it. I farmed 25 defense in godlands. Do you know how long that took? Once that was maxed, I moved on to sprite worlds to get my decks maxed, and I just about made it there. Or in fact, I think I did make it there, and I was going to move on to speed, but I was still doing a sprite world because I wanted something to trade. And I died because of some chat error. I felt awful. I felt robbed of something that I worked so hard for. It didn't feel fair. It didn't feel justified. It didn't feel like it was my fault. And I was so upset. I was so mad. I raged. All right. I raged. I went up to my room and I just, I wanted to tear the place apart. I didn't know what to do. I felt like I was finally getting somewhere in the game. And then the game just said no and took it away from me. And I wasn't just mad because I died and lost my stuff. I was mad because I knew I wouldn't be able to return to that level of gameplay. Whenever you're a new player, you don't have any expectations for the video game because you're new. And whenever you're playing as a new player, everything is fun. Everything is new and refreshing and something different. But since I maxed out those two stats, I got a taste of that power. A taste of what it was like to be a quote-unquote professional. Even if it was just a small taste. It was enough to get me intrigued nonetheless. So to know that if I did pick up Realm of the Mad God again, I wouldn't be able to return to that power only made the feelings of regret and anger even worse. But that's just how it is. There is nothing you can do about a dead character. Getting mad will not bring it back. And the sooner that you accept that, the sooner that you can move on from it. It's only hurting you more to dwell on the past. Never dwell on the past. I'm kind of a hypocrite for saying that because I have so much trouble with that. I get very hung up on things that I feel like I could have done differently whenever I make a mistake. But remember that every step you take is a part of that one big journey that you will have done once you pass on. They're all stepping stones for the accomplishments that you will make in your life or career or whatever it may be. So I know it's going to be really hard to get over, especially your first death, but just know that the sooner you get over it, the sooner you can bounce back. And the next time that you do inevitably die in Realm of the Mad God, it won't feel nearly as traumatic. The second time I died, I barely, I, I barely got angry. The second time that I died in Realm of the Mad God wasn't even a fraction of the rage that I felt the first time. Because I understood it more. I understood that while death was permanent, it's not enough to get me down. It's not enough to halt my progression. I'm more than that. 
I'm not going to let one roadblock, no matter how big or small, stop me from reaching my goal. I wanted to be a professional player so bad, so I tried and tried and tried. And while I may have given in to human weakness once or twice along the way, they were all meant to happen because it's what shaped me into who I am today. Without those accomplishments and mistakes taking place, you wouldn't be the same person that you are today. So, please remember, it's just a game, it doesn't affect you, and you will get over it. The second tip that I have to give you isn't quite as big as the first one, but still definitely worth mentioning. Take a break. Whenever you die in Realm, don't try to go back to the game. Take a break. Find something to do that you know you love, a book you love to read, a movie you love to watch, or another video game that you love to play. Do something to take your mind off of it. You may not want to, but do it anyway because it will ease your pain. When you feel like you've cooled off enough after about a day or two, you can try and come back to the game with a clean slate and a clear mind. So know when to take breaks. My third and final tip that I can give to you is talk to someone. If you're feeling frustrated, conflicted, or just sad, talk to somebody about it. I know you might be a little embarrassed to be upset about a freaking video game, but it's better than letting those thoughts stay inside of your mind. I try to reason with myself all the time and I end up becoming my own worst enemy. It never works. Always get someone else's opinion. That doesn't mean you have to take their advice on what they think you should do, but just getting those thoughts out of your system will do you good. You have someone to help you now, someone to share the pain and help amend it. Maybe you can talk to somebody with the same thing. Talk to somebody on Skype, one of your realm buddies. Ask how they dealt with their first to death, what it was like for them, how long it took for them to get over it. Ask them for tips. Death in Realm is an annoying thing, but it's a part of the game. It's a huge setback, but that's what the game is built around. That's why everything is significant. That's why doing something like rushing an abyss is so invigorating, because you know that there is a lot at stake, your life. If you die, that's it. So in my eyes, that is how you can start to deal with death. Remember that it's just a game, take breaks, and talk to somebody about it. I am very confident that you can get over your character's death. And like I said before, it will get easier to deal with. The more characters that you lose, the more you kind of get used to it and desensitize yourself, and the better at the game you'll get. Remember, every time you die, you're getting experience. It's not all for nothing. There's just nothing material to show for it. But that is not a bad thing. Because the courage, confidence, and perseverance that you have to apply to keep on moving forward is worth more than any pyramid ring you'll ever have. So I hope this video helped you out with any problems you may have had. Thanks so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.